this peace once upon a time, she said, I'm not afraid, and her enemies became afraid of her, is a piece I have made specifically for this exhibition. I'm going to try to actually remake it for the places that the show is going to tour. It's a work that really underlies a philosophy I kind of believe in, which is that if you utter something, that it will become, if you make something, you actually bring it to life. And so she's got these three sprites, these little robotic creature chimera things following her, and she's triumphantly getting away from them. And it sort of expresses my own belief that there are these problems and tragedies and difficulties that follow every one of us. And in this particular case, this sort of triumphant warrior female and that she's been able to beat them and to run faster than them and to kind of escape from them primarily because she said she's no longer afraid. I love gloves, I love long gloves, so I've chosen to make her arms sort of reptilian and snake-like using this tape. She has a coyote head. Coyotes are incredibly powerful in, in a lot of Native American and Indigenous American folklore and history and cosmology and it's it's also the word that uh, is used to describe people who take a person from one side of the border to the another, illegally one might say. The coyote has always had this really interesting reverberation in my mind. And then she also has contact paper in the form of a sort of fake wood that goes from her chest, sort of like this huge, wonderful belly backside that, that is like a, a horse and a snake and a dragon all at once. She's got all these different media, but it's watercolor first. The power for me in this is to keep the figure, the story of female in the center, to keep discussing and talking about women as active, as protagonists, good, bad, whatever it is that they are, that they are part of the reason that we're here. That's important for me, not to kind of marginalize us and give us bits on the side here and there.